The Golden Eagle Hotel was built in 1887 using brickwork from the Holt and Gregg Company. It was originally two stories with a banquet room, restaurant, and bar on the first floor and 42 rooms on the second. The addition of a third story around the turn of the century increased the number of rooms to 100. Within the hotel's entrance was a large lobby with a staircase leading to the upper floors. Restrooms off the lobby were a great convenience. The hotel operated along the European plan, where the owners charged only for the rent of the room, meals and other amenities cost extra, and were paid for separately. At different times, a barber shop, jewelry store, cigar store, drug store, liquor store, tavern, and coffee shop occupied the premises, all bearing the Golden Eagle name. Visitors used chinaware, silverware, and hand towels adorned with Golden Eagle Hotel. After buying the hotel in 1906, Brothers Augustus and George Gronwald expanded the use of name recognition by putting it on items travelers could take with them, such as toiletries, matchboxes, and novelty items. The Gronwalds also utilized place product packaging where they associated the name of their business with a trusted product. Offering bars of ivory soap with custom wrapping not only advertised the business, but also conveyed to travelers that they could expect the same high quality in the hotel as they already enjoyed in the product now bearing its name. The Golden Eagle Hotel reflected the public spirit as people enjoyed the facilities and atmosphere of a first-class dining convention and lodging establishment. The spacious lobby served as an ideal meeting place. Its restaurant and bar featured fine eating and drinking to include choice meats and seafood, daily changes of vegetables, and select liquor and wine. Service groups, social clubs, and fraternal organizations such as the Rotary Club, Reading Chamber of Commerce, Kiwanis, and Grindstone Club used the hotel's banquet room and facilities for monthly meetings, luncheons, and special events. The annual Armistice Day Toast, a Reading tradition, was held at the Golden Eagle. Like many hotels of the late 19th and into the 20th centuries, the Golden Eagle Hotel was seen as a landmark that symbolized the city's goals and desires. The hotel attracted multiple businesses to the building's first floor commercial spaces. Among the first were John T. Wiseman and Company, which sold groceries, hardware, dry goods, and fancy goods. B.H. Bacon, who opened a confectionery and jewelry store that offered homemade chocolates and candies, as well as different brands of American watches, and the law office of William D. Beagle. The year after the hotel opened saw the Bennett Mackey Cable Company, Woodward's Newspaper Stand, and Benjamin E. Stevenson, M.D., all operate from the hotel site. Through the years, as Reading's economy ebbed and flowed, the Golden Eagle continued operating while various commercial establishments came and went. Unfortunately, the hotel's place in Reading's economy and society ended when it was destroyed by fire on September 22, 1962.